Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Francisco and welcome to the lesson number seven of this intermediate level. In this class, we'll continue with user two and we're going to add some WH questions in this class, okay? So, remember the guys that we have seen a lot of WH questions that these probably are going to be familiar for you and this is a structure that we're going to follow if we want to make object questions are we going to do right here. Remember that the structure for subject question is different. So I want you to watch this class if you have doubts about subject and object questions, okay? So guys, in here we have five different sentences and the answers for the questions. These are not the questions because we are the ones that are going to create the question right here, okay? So guys, before starting this, we have to know the answer and to check if the answer is correct or not. If you have some mistakes, we have to correct them first. So, let's read it together. Look at this number one. She used to wear a jacket, a scarf, and a mittens when she lives in Canada. So, do you see this correct? So, do you see any mistake here? Pause the video, analyze it. And if you see the mistake, try to identify it with me, please. So, for example, in this part, we have a mistake. So, in these words that we have here, there's one mistake. So, can you see it? Yes, the mistake here is this article here, the article A. Why? Because in here, we have a plural noun. And in this case, when we have plural, this is not possible because this is used for singular. As we did it here, a jacket, a scarf, and a mittens, it sounds weird, okay? So this is not possible. So the sentence would be without this letter E. A, sorry. Now, let's continue with this. When she lives in Canada, do you see any mistake there? Pacho, I don't see any mistake because this is the correct option when we're talking about she. It could be, it could be an option. It could be a very good argument. But in this case, that is not possible. Why? Because remember, guys, that when we are using uses to, it is because something happened in the past and is not happening anymore in the present tense. So, this is not possible to use the simple present here, and I have to use this verb in a simple past like this. She lived in Canada, okay? So, these are the two mistakes that we found in the sentence number one. Guys, now that this answer is correct, we're going to think about the question. So, pay attention to the answer again. Ella solía usar una chaqueta, una bufanda y guantecitos, ¿cierto? Unos mittens, when she lived in Canada, cuando vivió en Canadá. Entonces, la pregunta, ¿cuál va a ser? ¿Qué solía ella usar? ¿Qué? So, if we want to say that, I have to think, I have to choose one of these WH questions that we have right here. So, which one would you choose? Which one? In this case, this is the option that I have for making the question. But why does that have a star key right here? Well, that's a very good question because remember that with what and who you can make subject questions and that's the class that I want you to watch, please. So, I'm going to start with this what, okay? So, I'm going to start the structure like this with WH question. Then what? Then I have to use these auxiliary because it is the auxiliary that we have to use in the past. And then, the subject is what follows the sentence, the structure. What is the subject here? What is the subject? Remember, guys, that the subject is the one that makes the action. And in here, this is the subject. She. She is the subject. She is making the action. So, I'm going to write it here. What did she? Yes, what did she? And then I have to use this. Use to. Okay, so I'm going to write it. What did she use to? and the verb base, okay, in its base form. In this case, I'm talking about the verb where, so I'm going to write it here, okay? What did she use to wear? Yes, this is going to be a good question. If you want to add some more, for example, the final part that we have here, you can do it, and it sounds very, very nice, okay? What did she use to wear when she lived in Canada, okay? When she lived in Canada, that's going to be the question that we can do to have this answer here. What did she use to wear when she lived in Canada? She used to wear a jacket, a scarf, and mittens when she lived in Canada. ¿Cómo la vieron, muchachos? 
Ahí está entonces una de las posibles preguntas que podríamos trabajar de acuerdo a eso. Recuerde que la pregunta depende de lo que usted quiera saber. ¿Listo? Ahí está entonces la número uno, muchachos. Ok, guys, let's continue with number two. For number two, we have also the answer, and we have to know the answer to create the question. Look at this. We use to plug. What is the meaning of this verb? Plug. Plug means arrancar. Eso significa plug. This is a regular verb. We use it to pluck the fruits from the trees on the afternoon wings 5 o'clock. Okay? Can you spot the mistakes? Can you identify them? Pueden identificar los errores que tenemos aquí. Sí, pause in el video, pause the video and analyze it, please. Okay. In the first place, we have here one mistake because this is not the correct preposition because in here we're talking about a part of the day, so the afternoon. In this case, on is not possible. Which one would you choose? In, on, or at? Well, we know that on is not possible. So in this case, is in the afternoon. For parts of the day, we use this preposition. Remember that, guys. If you have some doubts about it, I can recommend you to watch this class, please. Okay, this is going to help you a lot. In the afternoon, pay attention to this. Well, this is not very common, but I do it because sometimes I see it. Sí, lo hago porque... Bueno, no es muy común, pero lo he visto en algunas ocasiones. Que a veces nuestro español, voy a abrir un paréntesis, a veces nuestro español nos afecta un poco la parte del inglés, porque como vamos al traductor y nuestro español no está como bien, en algunas ocasiones nos equivocamos, entonces también va a pasar mucho. ¿Qué queríamos decir acá? A las 5 de la tarde. Yo he visto algunos estudiantes que eh, colocan este Wings porque buscan es así, alas. ¿sí? Estas, este Wings son alas de volar, Wings. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que nos está afectando? Que para decir a las 5, lo tenemos es que separar a las 5. Y ahí sí tendríamos la, traductor, la traducción correcta, ¿ok? Tenga mucho cuidado con eso, muchachos. So, I'm going to close the parenthesis here. So, in the afternoon, which is the correct preposition here? In, on, at. Which one? In this case, is at. At 5 o'clock. This is the preposition to talk about time. Esa es la que vamos a utilizar para esa parte de tiempo. Now, guys, the answer of number two is correct. Now we have to think about the question. So, we have this information. Solíamos arrancar las frutas de los árboles en la tarde a las cinco. So, estamos hablando como de tiempo. So, which is the WH question that we're going to use to talk about time, guys? In this case, in this case is... In this case, I can use when, for example. So I'm going to start with this one. When, this is the WH question. Then I follow with the auxiliary did, okay? When did. In this case, the subject. So the subject could be we, yes? Could be this one. But this is not very common because we don't normally ask questions to ourselves, but we can do it too. In this case, I prefer to ask the question with you, okay? Puedo hacer, o prefiero preguntar con ustedes, porque no normalmente nos preguntamos nosotros mismos, ¿ok? When did you, ok, this is an option here. When did you, when did you what? When did you use to? Remember that this is what we have to write here next, ¿ok? When did you use to? Ver in its space form, and now the verb is black, ¿ok? I'm going to write it here, el verbo arrancar. When do you use to pluck the fruits, the fruits from the trees? That's going to be the question here. From the trees. And then the question mark. Entonces, ¿cuándo solías tú, si utilizamos este, cuándo solías tú o solían ustedes arrancar las frutas de los árboles? O cuando solíamos nosotros, si te quieres autopreguntar, arrancar las frutas de los árboles? Entonces, ahí está. We say here. We used to pluck the fruits from the trees in the afternoon at 5 o'clock. Vamos progresando con todo eso, muchachos. A veces mucha información, but we have to practice. Remember that that's very important. Okay, guys, look at this number three. Let's read the answer. I used to spend a lot of money since I live in a very expensive city. Can you spot the mistakes? Can you identify them? In here, we have the first mistake. Look at this. Use to, remember that it goes with the letter D, okay? You can use it like this without the letter D, but in different occasions, okay? Some other cases. I use it to spend a lot of money since I live in a very expensive city. Remember that we've talked about this before, 
and in here we have the same and we have here. So it's not possible to have the present here because remember that this is something to talk about the past, something that is not happening or doesn't happen here in the present. So I have to use the letter D here. Since I lived in a very expensive city. So let's identify, let's understand this. Yo solía gastar mucho dinero porque vivía o ya que vivía, ya que yo vivía en una ciudad muy costosa. Okay? Now, guys, we have this word because we're giving an argument. Okay? Something that we saw in the previous classes, guys. Now, the correct W question that we have to use here is why. Okay? We're going to follow the structure. Why? And then what? Did again. Why did? Yes? The subject. Okay, if you want to make a self question, you can use the same pronoun. Okay? Pueden utilizar ese mismo si se quieren hacer una auto pregunta. But it's not very common. So I prefer to use you in this case. Why do you, do you what? Use to, use to, and then what? The verb in its space form. In this case, we're talking about the verb spend, que es gastar. To spend, to spend a lot of money. Yes, a lot of money. So this is going to be the question here in number three. ¿Por qué solías gastar tanto dinero? And the answer is, I used to spend a lot of money since I lived in a very expensive city. Remember that this is to argue at sentence. Para dar un argumento y una oración. Look at this. Number four, guys. Mike used to play the piano quite well. So, do you see any mistake there? Can you identify them? No, guys. In here, we don't have mistakes. It's correct here. And we have to make the question. But to make the question, remember that we have to know or to identify the sense of the answer. Mike solía tocar el piano bastante bien. Remember these intensifiers, and this is going to be a very nice class for you to watch too. Esto también nos va a recordar muchas cositas esta clase. Okay? So, guys, in this case, I can use this, this question that we have here. Okay? How well? Okay? How well? What is the meaning of that? Aquí estamos hablando de que también. Remember that this is an adverb. How well? How well what? Did. Yes? Did. And then we have the subject. In this case, the subject is Mike. Okay? How well did Mike? And then what? Used to. Used to play the piano. Okay? This is going to be the final part of the answer. Play the piano. Okay? So this is going to be the question. How well did Mike used to play the piano? Que también solía Mike tocar el piano. And here the answer, my used to play the piano quite well, que eso es bastante bien. Eso es un intensificador de este adverbio que tenemos acá. Entonces ahí lo estamos trabajando de esa manera, muchachos. Now, guys, look at this final part. In this case, I don't have the question, but you're going to do it. This is a homework for you guys. Now, pay attention to this. Those kids use to take off his shoes on the door, on the door. This is not possible here. This is one of the mistakes because we say at the doors, que se quitaban los zapatos en la puerta, pero al lado de la puerta. You can also say next to or by the door. You can say that. Those are the possible prepositions. But there is one more mistake here. Which one? So, what is it? In here we're talking about his, but we're talking about those kids, and it's not possible. So in here, if I'm talking about those kids, so I have to use the positive adjective, which is there. So those kids used to take out their shoes at the door. Entonces, esos chicos solían quitarse, este es el verbo, es un phrasal verb, quitarse sus zapatos en la puerta. Bueno, aquí la tarea es cuál. Ustedes pueden preguntar dos cosas. Eso lo voy a decir en español para que quede muy claro. Quiero que, por favor, pregunten quiénes se solían quitar los zapatos en la puerta. ¿Eso es una pregunta qué? Una pregunta sujeto. Y si tienen dudas, esta es una clase de apoyo más para todos ustedes. Traten, por favor, de hacer esa pregunta y mirar cómo, lo, cómo la estructurarían. Eso lo pueden hacer en los comentarios. So, guys, take a screenshot of all this information that's going to help you a lot in the future. 
and please share this class with many other people and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it. Espero que les haya gustado mucho muchachos and see you next class. Bye bye.